With the LS team at Remax, it's a family affair. Always call the LS team, they'll handle you with care. Welcome back to the future of real estate. I'm Brett Ellis of the Ellis team at Remax Realty Group here in sunny Southwest Florida, Fort Myers, Florida. If you want to reach us, our phone number is 239-489-4042. Don't forget our website, which is topagent.com. We've got links to everything on there. Now, what I want to do today is give you an updated Southwest Florida real estate state of the market report. It's probably been since January, February, since we've done that. And we just got busy with season. I mean, we, we were cranking sales and whatnot. And I'm going to show you some stats so you get a really good idea of what's going on in the traditional market, the short sale, the REO market, what's happening with prices, inventory, all kind of good stuff. So we'll get right to it, okay? I'm on a stats committee for the uh, Fort Myers MLS and we're re reviewing their reports and charts and whatnot. And since I've been reviewing them, I thought, hey, I'll just share some of their reports instead of some of the stuff that we do because it's interesting. A little bit harder to make out exactly what's going on, so I'm going to explain it to you. Now, this is the average sale price, median price that's happening in the Lee County, Florida market. And the top line is the average list price. So as of March of 2012, the average list price for single family home was $129.9. The average sale price is $124. And those are the official numbers you'll see put out by the state of Florida and then it goes into the national numbers. Down here is kind of an interesting thing to look at. I know it's a little confusing, but in 2012, the monthly actives are the blue line right here. And it's gone from 1376 to 1103 to 978. And the, in the red line is the solds. Our solds have outpaced the actives coming on the market. So what's happening is we've had declining inventory. But this graph is kind of neat because the same phenomenon has happened last year as well. You had the 2011 actives in the purple and you had the solds and the solds were running higher up until about September and then they crossed over again. But the bottom line is we don't have a lot of inventory no matter how you look at it. Uh, but it's kind of interesting to see what's coming on and what's leaving the market in terms of solds. All right, let's move to the next graph here. And I want to look at, here's our price comparison. As we told you, it's going to 124. It was at 120 the last month, 106. So for those that don't realize prices are going up in a market, they surely are. And if you look at the end of 2011, you know, they went from 89.4 to 86 to 103 to 119. Uh, back to 106, but right back to 120, 124. A couple blips there because you don't know what's going to happen any given month. We've had a problem with closings that are scheduled for December or scheduled for January, let's say, and they end up in February or March. Some of them end up not at all because the lenders, we're just having a difficult time with lenders these days. It's, it's getting tough. You see our sales rising. Of course, they rose last year too. Now we have less sales. One, because our prices are going up. Two, because we have less inventory. So that's not surprising. We've said all along that's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's happening. Nothing alarming there. If we had more inventory, I'm sure we'd sell more homes. Okay, let's go to our next graph here. This is an absorption rate. The way the stats committee has calculated it, it's basically the month supply of inventory, this number right here. So in March 2012, in Lee County, we had 3.7 months. And you might say that's a low number. It's kind of a low number. But May uh, or March of 2011, it was 4.6. So we're almost a month less than that. It did decline to about 3.3 in September. We've been running low inventory levels compared to sales uh, for the last couple of years. So, you know, anything under six uh, is pretty darn good. And uh, six to nine is what we consider that equilibrium mark. Uh, we're at 3.7 right now. We've got hot sales, low inventory. No wonder our prices are rising. Uh, and we won't worry about the absorption right here. That's a little bit confusing. Okay, this is kind of an interesting graph to look at though, because it tells you what the month supply of inventory is in certain markets. For instance, Lehigh Acres down here, 1.76 months of inventory. If you remember back in January, we said it's getting hard to find listings in Lehigh Acres. As soon as they come on, they're gone, okay? We're gonna explain a little bit more why later. Uh, in Fort Myers, you're at 4.1. Cape Coral is at 3.0, exactly what it was last January when we, we brought that up. Uh, where isn't it hot? Well, Estero Benita, because their price point's a little bit higher. We're at 5.77. Fort Myers Beach, though, 13.8. Now, it's better than it was. It's been coming down. But it's still, you've got over a year's supply of inventory at Fort Myers Beach. So to keep, you know, just kind of keep in mind. Depends where you're buying, all real estate's local, even in one county. All right, now, 
What I want to look at here is, I want to give you an idea of where what the sales are. Look at the blue line here. These are the traditional sales. They are going up to $759 in March of 2012. Look at the red line, $518 back in March of 2011. These are the REOs, the foreclosures. They've been coming down. We're down to 209. Our market is turning. We're getting more traditional sales. You know, you could argue approximately the same number, give or take, on the short sales, but no way uh, on the foreclosures. Those are coming down. So foreclosures coming down, traditional sales going up, more people can afford to sell as the prices come up. Uh, that's a trend we're going to continue to watch, but it's a trend uh, we see probably going on for a while. I want to skip down to chart on the page 18 here. This is another way to look at it. Now, people who say, uh, if you don't think distressed sales influence the market, they surely do. Look at fourth quarter of 2011. Basically, traditional sales were 49% of the market, and the average median price of those sold was 135. Foreclosures made up 31, and they only sold for 77. And median price was 85 on the short sales, and that's 20% of the market. Now, look over to fourth quarter of 2012. Our traditional sales are up 10%. Uh, well, actually, they're up 20%, but they went from 49 to 59%, so 10% of the whole pie. Foreclosures are down from 31 to 21%, and short sales are still 20%. But look at the price. Again, 150 now on the traditional sales, still 79,000 median price on the foreclosures. They're not moving much in price. Uh, and the short sales have actually gone down, median is 80,000. Banks are getting a little bit more aggressive. They want to short sale more, foreclose less if they can. They've been saying that for years. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. But uh, that's kind of what we're seeing here. You, but you are seeing a, you know, we had 1,911 fourth quarter traditional sales this year compared to 1,374 last year. That's what's influencing the numbers. And then lastly, I want to go to a chart on page 25. Now, by the way, we have this broken down by city, county, zip, all this information by condos, single family homes. Uh, anything you want to know. But I'm trying to give you the highlights and condense it into a, a short enough video that won't put you to sleep. But I want to look at these, uh, where where they're selling. Look in March of 2011, we had 404 foreclosures under 100,000. Look at March 2012, we're down to 154. Big change in what's going on in the market. We had 245 traditional sales, 223. What's happening here is the under 100,000 market's going away and it's being pushed up into the 100 or 199 because we don't have that market to sell anymore. There's less of them. So we only had so many sales here last year. We're getting more sales in the 100 to 200 and it's even bumping up across all lines. Look last year, we had 44 sales over uh, 500,000 last March. This year we've got seven, about 72. So we went from what, 44, 72, 72 down to 44. So. That's a big jump in terms of prices. Uh, and this is, this is also February. You're gonna see the same kind of picture. Look at the foreclosures in February of last year compared to the foreclosures in February of this year, down significantly. Everything else is going up. Uh, now, they had 49 sales compared to 41 in the over 500,000 in February. So, you know, some of those sales can get kicked into the next month and that's probably what happened this year. Bottom line is, we've got a changing market. It's been that way, but you're starting to see some price increases. Our month supply of inventory is still low. Uh, next time, we'll go over actual inventory numbers so you get an exact example of what's going on. Our sales are strong. We've been busy down here in Southwest Florida, and we've got a lot more sales. We're just struggling, fighting you know, to keep them closed. But that's where we stand. If you'd like to own your piece of paradise, definitely call the Ellis Team at Remax, 239-489-4042. Visit our website, which is topagent.com. If you want to search the entire MLS online, just go to leecountyonline.com, and you can search to your heart's content there, find out what's going on uh, in your neighborhood, and uh, always call us with questions. We'll be happy to help. We are short sale experts. We're definitely traditional experts. We were traditional long before we were short sale or foreclosure experts. It's just when the market shifts, you know, we have to shift with it, but uh, we're excited that we're getting back closer to our traditional market. And uh, while the rest of the country is going down, Southwest Florida's got some bright signs. And of course, we've got great weather. So we look forward to talking to you, 239-489-4042. And thanks for tuning in. With the LS team at Remax, it's a family affair. Always call the LS team, they'll handle